Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrills and fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. The fight for Texas was a long and bitter battle. For many years after the Civil War, Texas had to contend with the Indian raids, cattle wars, border banditry. But opposing such lawlessness, we had a small band of men who rode and fought for a great republic and a great state. This is a story about these men, the Texas Rangers. It's also about a young fellow I call Buffalo Bill Jr. It all began the day Captain Kenneth McNabb rode into Wileyville. Any place I can send a telegram around here? Well, not right here, Ranger. The nearest place it's is... It's Wiley Junction. It's a few miles down the road. You can't miss it. My brother is there now, waiting for the mail. He'll introduce you to Mr. Beckett, the operator. Thanks. Well, young lady, you're already a typical woman. You don't give a man a chance to get a word in edgeways. Mr. Beckett had to fill a vacancy over in Soda City. That sign says he won't be back till Thursday. How far is the next nearest telegraph office? Well, if it's really important. You can bet it's important. I got a company of rangers camped south of here on the Rio Grande. We can't wait till Thursday. Well, if you can wait right here in 10 minutes, I'll have somebody to open that padlock and send your telegram for you. And get him in a hurry, fella. Tell him it's official for the Texas Rangers. I'll have her here in 10 minutes. Her? He say her? Judge, I need her over at the junction right away. Bill, let's go. Do you want to spill the clean wash all over the floor? Judge, I need her to send a telegram. Judge, tell him to let go of the basket. Order, please. Order in the court. Bill, calamity. Let go of that basket. Well, I may have to do that wash all over, but at least the court's got a chance to get a word in edgewise. State your case, Bill, and where's the mail? I didn't have time to wait for the mail. There's a Texas Ranger at the station wanting to send a telegram. It's Captain McNabb, Company B. I recognize him from his picture in the paper. Then it's the decision of this court that the two of you better be on your way to lend the captain a hand with his wire. Bad. There's nobody here to lend the court a hand with this wash. Hi, Mr. Jeffers. You have a nice trip. That's Ken McNabb. What's he doing around here? Waiting to send a message, and it doesn't sound so good. Wait in the buckboard for me. All right. I'm J.L. Jeffers. If you recall, Captain, we met last summer at the state capitol. In the lobby. I, uh, hope your presence here doesn't indicate the cattle rustlers are after my stock again. If they are, it's partly your own fault. My fault? As a taxpayer, I support the Texas Rangers. And I count on you for protection. So uh, how can it be my fault? Because you're a politician, and you don't work for a new law. Well, now, uh, what kind of a law do you want? A law that'll back up the Rangers. A law that'll let us cross the border when we're in actual pursuit of criminals. 
I know what you mean, Captain, but you seem to forget that one country can't give its law agencies permission to act as law agencies in another. I'm talking facts, not deal. A river divides Texas from Mexico. It's called the Rio Grande. The rangers chase cattle thieves right into that river, and what happens? They can cross, but we can't. They splash water in our faces. That's the end of the chase. The Mexican authorities have a similar problem. Sure they do. The Mexican rallies chase criminals into the same river, and they get the same water splashed in their faces. And it's time for a change. We can't change international law. I'm going to try to change it. Right now, I'm waiting to send a telegram. I'm asking headquarters for permission to cross the Rio within the next two hours. The next two hours. I've got a company of Texas Rangers waiting for me just south of your ranch. A band of cattle thieves crossed the river only 10 minutes ahead of it. I'm asking for permission to go after them. Suppose you do get permission. It's over an hour's ride from here to the Rio. Won't those rustlers have a pretty good start on you? They might have a start. They won't get far. We travel light. They are driving 2,000 ahead. Excuse me. I'd like to help you, Captain. If you rangers are camped near my ranch, why don't you send your wire from there? From your ranch? Sure, I got a private wire. I had it installed just last week. I'd be glad to turn it over for your service. Save you an hour's ride. A good hour's ride. As soon as this horse gets a breather, I'll hit for your ranch. Unless I can send my telegram from here. Well, even if you do send your wire from here, why don't you ride onto my ranch and wait for the answer? You still save yourself an hour. Well, thanks, Mr. Jeffers. That's the best offer you ever made to the Rangers. If the Texas Rangers get official permission to cross the Rio Grande, means the end of our international cattle deals. Of course, if they should cross without permission, it means the end of the Texas Rangers. How do you think we could swing it? Oh, uh, here comes that kid with the telegraph operator. After they pass, pull off the road. All right. Well, here she is. She'll send your message for you. She will. How old is she? I'm 12. 12? And she can send Morse? Sure she can. She's been taking lessons from Sam Beckett. That's why he leaves her a key. Sorry to keep you waiting, Captain, but all messages come over the same wire. I'll have to clear the line first. All right. All ready, sir. Uh, to uh, Adjutant General, Chief of Texas Rangers, Austin. And the message? Rustlers crossed Rio Grande at dawn with 2,000 head. Request permission to cross international boundary in pursuit of same. Sign it, Kenneth McNabb, Captain, Company B. Reply, all stations, Wiley County. Well, thanks to both of you, and especially to the little lady. Gonna wait for your answer? Wanna save myself some riding time. I'll pick it up at the Jeffers Ranch. Come on, sis. Can't I dust the place for Mr. Beckett? Oh, all right, but make it snappy. The judge will be wanting his mail. Calamity, let's go. Get in there. Come on, move. Now, if you do what the man says, your kid sister won't get hurt. Get out on your knees and put your hands behind you. Will it buy my sister a ticket home? She goes home safe if she sends a wire for us. I will not. Get Okay. 
Hayes. Does he says calamity? Get down on your knees. You heard what the man said. Get down. We both understand the code, so don't try any tricks. Send it the way he wants it, Calamity. Who shall I send it to? To Captain Kenneth McNabb. Company B, Texas Rangers. Address all stations. Wiley County. The message? Permission to cross the Rio Grande in pursuit of international cattle thieves is hereby granted. Company B shall proceed into Mexico under your command. Now, just a minute. Take it easy. Leave him alone. Who should I say send it? Sign it, uh, Kingsley. Adjutant General, Chief of Texas Rangers. Fire up. McNabb, Company B. I'm expecting a telegram from... Oh, Captain McNabb? Yes. A message came for you, care of all stations, about 40 minutes ago. Well, that's the best news we've had in years. Send a reply to Adjutant General, Chief of Rangers, Austin, Texas. Well, I'll have to send it later. This wire went dead right after I got your message. I bet it's the Indians cutting the lines again. Well, send this as soon as they get the line repaired. Company B, Texas Rangers, will cross the Rio at once in accordance with your orders. Sign that, McNabb, Captain. Thanks. Bill, my arms are tired. Well, so are mine between trying to untie knots in the mirror and it's backwards, and a kid sits here that wiggles like a fish. You did it on moves. Well, I'm not. Come here and untie me. Well, there's knives in Mr. Beckett's desk. Why didn't you say so before? Because I didn't think of it before. Oh, you could have saved us a half hour. Can't you remember anything but Morris Code? that key just as fast as you can. Then correct the message. Tell Captain McNabb it came from here, not Austin. Where are you going? To catch up with the captain if I can. Day's gonna last all week. The old company's waiting near the riverbank, Captain. All they need is the order. They've got them, Corporal. Put on that soup ladle and reach for your bugle. You can sound charge for Company B. here, but the telegraph operator says he got a message and rode off again. How long ago? Oh, long enough to be at his camp on the Rio. Maybe beyond that. Back up. 
Find the captain. You in a hurry, are you? Yes, sir. I gotta find him right away. I can guess why, too. When a young fellow wants to enlist in the Texas Rangers, he wants to enlist right now. No, sir. I'm not trying to enlist. I'm trying to stop Captain McNabb from crossing the Rio Grande. Then you come to the wrong camp, son. If you try to stop Captain McNabb, I'll cut you in half. But they're crossing the border against orders. They did get orders straight from Austin. That order was a fake. It was sent from Wiley Junction. You mean to tell me that they. Company B is fighting in Mexico without an official order? That's exactly what I'm saying. Is it too late to bring them back, sir? If you're telling the truth, it's too late. I am telling the truth. Is there anything we can do? I don't know what you could do, son. But if that's true, me, I'd have to start folding up the tents and pulling down the flag. That'd be the end of the Texas Rangers. No, it's not the end yet. I'll try to catch Captain McNabb even if he is across the border. <laughs> Tell Sergeant Hurley to get our men who are still mounted around behind him. Captain, you're fighting on the wrong side of the border. They sent you a phony wire. Who did? Two men. They wore masks back at Wiley Junction. Thanks for telling me, son. But it's too late to go back. The Texas Rangers finally got these rustlers cornered. In law and no law, we're gonna keep on calling. I'm with you. You better let me take care of that. It's all right, son. My men are sure taking care of those rustlers. For years, Captain McNabb wanted to cross the Rio. He openly stated his intention to flout international law. Captain McNabb and his rangers have gone too far. Now they must go. This is a quote from J.L. Jeffers of the Jeffers Cattle Company. I wonder if he could be back at this. Well, he very well might be. Some of us have suspected him of being behind these cross-the-border deals and stolen cattle. Well, if he hires some men to wear masks in the depot, those hired men are no doubt far away by this time. Well, suppose he was one of the masked men. Jeffers himself? Sure. The two men that broke in on us at Wiley Junction, they didn't seem to be plain cowpokes. They both wore city clothes. One of them wore a linen travel duster and cap, and the other one wore an overcoat inside out. So it looks like they disguised themselves in a hurry. Maybe from the luggage that Mr. Jeffers brought from Austin. And another thing. Mr. Jeffers and his foreman left Wiley Junction a long time ahead of me, and the buckboard had only just arrived when I got there myself. Well, now that you mention it, they left the junction ahead of me, too. How come I didn't see them on the road or at the ranch? Because they turned off the road and circled back at the depot. And then they got into those masks and disguises and held us up. Well, that's what I mean. Does sound reasonable, don't it, Captain? But we haven't much time to prove it. Well, I've got an idea how we can do that, too. We'll set a trap, and if Jeffers is really guilty, he'll be caught in it. Well, how will you set the trap? I won't set it. You will. At least you'll provide the bait. Oh, now, wait a minute, Bill. Uh-uh. I'm not going to let you use your little sister here as bait in any trap. Neither will I. Well, that's not what I mean. All she need do is send another telegram from the junction. Another fake message. A fake message? Sure. Last time they made her send one. Now it's their turn to get one. <laughs> Did you? Don't be silly. Now remember, Judge, give us a full hour. Well, I'll time it right to the second, and good luck to the both of you. And happy hunting.
They wrote it in exactly 57 minutes. Well, that leaves me three to go. I hate to send you into this, son. If you want to back out, now is the time to do it. Why should I want to back out? Good luck, Ranger. Thanks, Captain. I'll take real good care of your badge. Regardless of present prices, the J.L. Jeffers Company can now ship beef on the hoof at a lower cost per pound than any of our competitors. Sounds like business is picking up. What are you doing here? Oh, I figured as long as business is so good, might as well cut myself in. Let him talk. Nice coat. Nicer lining. Man could wear this inside out. Take a look outside. See if he came alone. Sure I came alone. I don't want to split my profits with anyone else. What profits? Profits this company will make without any more Texas Rangers. Mr. Jeffers got them disbanded, didn't he? Hey, listen to this. Never mind now, Walters. I'm busy. It's about the Rangers. Listen, it's straight from the adjutant's office. Orders to all Rangers. Close in on Jeffers Ranch, Wiley County. Arrest J.L. Jeffers. Arrest Frank Snyder. You must have tipped him. Oh, why would I come here to cut myself in on your deal? We're not cutting anyone in. Get his gun. Then hitch up the team. Give me a hand with the records. We're moving our business to Mexico. Captain McNabb needs the papers in that briefcase. Let's go. Well, Jay? Here are their business records. You know that telegram was as phony as your own, Mr. Jeffers? We figured if you're guilty, you'd prove it by trying to run. And thanks for leaving us plenty of evidence. Oh, and thanks for the loan of the badge, Captain. Keep it, Bill. You earned it. Get on that buckboard. You and your men are headed for the U.S. Marshal's office in Soto City. Jeffers and Snyder confessed and were sentenced to prison. Captain McNabb and his famous Company B rode again for Texas. And the young fella I call Buffalo Bill Jr. is still mighty proud that he once carried the badge. 
Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. Cause no one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr., Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill Jr.